In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take sketches like this, turn them into graphics like this, and convert them to vector format on your iPad without the need for a desktop computer. So when I start out, I'll typically sketch on a tracing pad, and I use a mechanical pencil, a Pentel Graph Gear 1000. And so here's, here's the sketch we're gonna work on. It's this uh, palm tree cluster right here. And what I'll do is I'll bring this onto my iPad. I'll take a photo of it and I'll create a new Procreate document. And Procreate is a drawing app for the iPad. It's the best drawing app by far. Um, and there's a reason I draw in it, just because it's so intuitive and so automatic. So what we need to do is let's bring in this image so I'll insert a photo. Here's my photo of the palm trees and I'll just scale this up. And in that layer, we'll turn that layer opacity down to around 30% or so. That way we can see the sketch underneath. I'm gonna use an Apple Pencil. And we also want to create a brand new layer to draw into. And with the brushes, we're gonna use the default studio pen in the inking section. So this is a free brush if you have Procreate. So what I want to do is I just want to start sketching out the black lines of this design. And then eventually we get to a drawing like this. So what I'll do for the next color is I'll make a new layer and I'll start drawing out the palm fronds. And then when it's all done, we have a drawing like this. So there's three main layers are background drawing, that layer is turned off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export these individually as PNG files. So let's first do the black line. There is one more thing I'm gonna show you here. This is a little trick for lining things up once you get this into vector format. Let's go to the top here, make a new layer, change our ink color to black, and just fill in your corners here. So I've got the corners all filled in. So what we'll do here is we'll export these as PNG files. So share and PNG, and we're gonna save this image to our iPad. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other layers. Let's turn off this black layer and we'll do the palm fronds. Now notice I still have that layer with the little blackened corners turned on. So let's export that as a PNG and save this image. And then we'll do the same thing with the tree trunks. Again, we still have the black corners turned on. We'll export this as a PNG. So now let's go into Adobe Capture. This is an app that will allow us to convert our art to vector. So what we wanna do is tap the plus sign, import image, camera roll. We'll go to these palm trees. This is the black line. and. This is just black and white, so we don't really need to change any of the settings. There is a setting for color here, but I would recommend staying away from it as long as you've kept your art in separate layers, even if it is color. And what we'll do here is tap the check mark and then go to save, tap save, and let's do this with the other images. So we've got the fronds there. And now this is just a green image. You can see that the corners are there, but the, the green leaves aren't showing up. And since we're in black and white mode, we wanna just turn up that threshold till we get all that black in there. And again, tap the check mark here, tap save, save again. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the trunks. So camera roll, go to these trunks. Again, turn your threshold up tap the check mark, save. So now what we wanna do is export these as SVG files. So export as SVG, and then save to files, we're gonna save in our Illustrator folder. And we're gonna do the same thing with these palm fronds here, export as SVG, save to files, Illustrator, and then export as SVG, save to files in the Illustrator folder. 
So now I've got my keyboard out and this is gonna make it easier to copy and paste in the Adobe Illustrator app. So what we wanna do here is go import and open and then let's go into the Illustrator folder here and let's import the trees. And if I zoom out, you'll see we have our little four corners there that are gonna help us line everything up. Drag select everything, tap here to group and then let's go back and go import and open again. Let's get those palm fronds. Drag select everything, group it, that little icon there. Command C and then we'll go back into this trees file. Let's go into our layers here and make sure to make a new layer and then we'll drag this new layer below everything and go Command V and it pastes right into place. So let's go ahead and change the color here. And then we'll go back and go import and open and get the trunks. Zoom out, drag select everything, copy, go back into that main file, make a new layer, drag that new layer to the bottom, go command V and we'll change this trunk color to a brown. Now what we can do is go into the layers, select everything, ungroup it, and then now we can drag those corners and just get rid of those little placeholder corner pieces. Then if you want, just select each layer, group it. Now you've got a nice clean Adobe Illustrator file. So that's how to make 100% vector graphics on your iPad. Thanks for watching.